Hey what's up guys, welcome to today's video. Today we are back at it again, taking a look at 50 awesome free tweaks that you guys can install on your iOS 12 to 12.1.2 jailbreak. Now all of the sources and the entire tweak list is located down below in this video's description on our best tech info article. If you guys want to check out all of the free tweaks and have the ability to install them all and batch import sources with flame. Anyway guys, Guys, let's get directly into things, but before we do, I just want to let everyone know that some major progress is being made towards an A12 jailbreak, and when this jailbreak comes out, all of these tweaks in today's video will be able to be installed on the latest devices. Some major progress has been made, like I was saying guys, so definitely bookmark our A12 jailbreak status checker page to be notified the second the jailbreak utility is updated for the latest devices like the iPhone XS, XS Max, XR, and the 2018 iPad Pros. Anyway, without further ado, let's get into the top tweaks. All right, so first up we have Dune, which brings a dark mode to iOS. So not only like on your widgets right here, but also on your notifications as well. Same with dock, folder backgrounds, and all of those things combined dark mode on iOS 12 entirely for free. So speaking of dock, I have floaty dock right down here, which brings the iPad style dock to the iPhone. Next, I wanted to talk about some control center tweaks. Now there's a couple going on here. I have cool CC to give these nice white outlined backgrounds on the platters. I also have a sugar cane right here, which displays the percentages on these rockers right there. And then lastly, I have Toggle, which basically adds a nice glow to the toggles within the platters. And very lastly, I've mentioned this in other videos, but this platter right here is called Power Module, and it lets you quickly respring, reboot, enter safe mode, and things like that directly from the control center. So another great one to have is called Evanesco XI. It basically dims and hides the icons as well as the dock, as well as the status bar after 10 seconds. So I know everyone loves this awesome music visualizer on your lock screen, as well as within Spotify, Apple Music, in the Control Center, and even more. And this one's called Mishuta XI. So next up, new grid switcher adds the iPad style multitasking switcher to the iPhone. An awesome one to have right there to add more cards in your multitasking pane. So another one of my favorites is called Better Settings. Not only does it add a dark mode, but it allows you to completely customize the settings app, the background bubble color, and even more. And one more directly within the settings app is called placeholder. So for those tweaks that do not have a tweak icon, placeholder basically puts this yellow tweak icon right there. So your settings app looks nice, neat, and organized. Message colors add some awesome gradients to your messages app. Again, we did a full video on this tweak as well. If you guys want to check it out, I'll link it down below in this video's description. If you're looking for a weather related tweak this one called asteroid is the one to go for it adds this awesome little greeting right here on the lock screen it also does a bunch of other stuff you can set the weather as your background you can have a dynamically updating weather app icon and more silent screenshot does exactly what you think it would do if you go to take a screenshot it just appears like that there is absolutely no sound going on in the background if you guys are into theming your icons the go to theming application is called Snowboard, and this theme that I currently have is my go-to called Lotus. Zen HTML lets you add widgets to the home and lock screen, so if you guys are looking for some awesome animations and widgets, definitely check out Zen HTML and Fluid Widget. Also on the home screen, I'm using this tweak called Clean Home Screen, which basically eliminates icon labels as well as page dots, indicators, and a lot more. Definitely check out Clean Home Screen if you want to simplify your look. So this one's kind of a throwback, but this tweak called Primal Folder takes the very first icon in your folder and actually puts that as the folder background. So if I just click on that, then my folder pulls up. And again, with these quick animations, that's called Animations Be Fast. So not only are folder opening and closing animations quick, but pretty much every animation on iOS can be adjusted. Again, a pretty common one is called Cylinder for these awesome animations on the home screen. 
screen between app icons. So you guys have probably heard of this one again too, the one called Cuttlefish. When you 3D touch an application icon, it will tint the background blur based on the icon's color. So as you guys can see, YouTube's red, Snapchat's yellow, Evernote's green, and Facebook is blue. And Emojis 12.2 adds the new iOS 12.2 and Emojis to iOS 12 to 12.1.2. So we have the boar, the giraffe, the owl, and the shark now on iOS 12 to 12.1.2. So two tweaks that I really like that save a lot of power on your iPhone. One is called smart low power mode. So every time you plug your device into charge, it will automatically enable low power mode to charge even faster. And then secondly, the second one is called low power DND. So when you toggle do not disturb, low power mode, low power mode is also enabled with one fell swoop. So it's really nice with both of these tweaks combined when I plug my phone in at night, automatically low power mode and do not disturb is enabled. So this one's a pretty cool one. This one is called CC Linker. So if I just hold down on one of the toggles, it will automatically take me to that section within the settings app. So if I say hold down on Wi-Fi right here, I'm automatically taken to my list of Wi-Fi networks. All right, well, I guess my light died at some point when recording this video. Anyway, the next one that I wanted to talk about is called Buy Beta Alert. If you guys are on an iOS 12 beta, this tweak removes the beta prompt that appears every single time you guys unlock your devices. Another one within the settings app is called What About This? This adds the iOS 12.2 settings app about section redesign to your jailbreak. Of course, a great one to always have is Files of File Manager, so you guys can modify system files if needed, but definitely be careful when doing this. So a great free volume HUD tweak is called Video HUD. It basically looks something just like that right up in the top right, and it is system wide. It looks like this across all apps on your home screen and on your lock screen, and that is entirely free. Again, this one's called Video HUD. So one that I love to have is called Sendalay, it basically delays your message from sending for about one to two seconds. So it looks something just like that. I'll do it one more time when I click send instead of sending immediately, it takes just a second to send the message off. And you guys can cancel this from being sent too. As well as power module, it's just nice to have multiple ways to respring your device. This tweak called more power options looks something like this. So when you go to reboot your device, you now have shutdown, respring, reboot, and safe mode. So this one's kind of a hidden and minor one, but if you guys redesign your icon layer, out, and if you hide these page dots, you actually can't touch on them until you install this tweak called allow touches on page dots. So now where those page dots used to be, you can actually touch right there and swipe between pages. It's kind of just a necessity one in my opinion to have um, and one you really wouldn't think about, but it's a nice one to have if you guys are looking for that. So again, another messages tweak, this one called smooth cursor allows your cursor to be just a little bit more smooth when either swiping between text and trying to select a certain position or even when typing as you guys can see the cursor just isn't quite as jagged anyway guys that one's called smooth cursor so this tweak called disconnected alerts you when your Wi-Fi connection has just dropped kind of just a quality of life tweak to have when you're on the go so another good one to have if you guys use your iPhone without a sim card as you guys can see I have a sim card currently in but if I took my sim card out this tweak called no sim alert basically removes the no sim prompt that iOS notifies you about every single time you unlock your device. So for those of you that use an old iPhone as an iPod or something like that, that is a great tweak to have at your disposal. So I'm sure you guys are probably wondering why my keyboard is green within the messages app or throughout this video so far that you've seen. It looks pretty gross with this color layout with the purple message bubbles, but this tweak is actually pretty cool. It's green because the messages app is actually green. If I go into Safari, the keyboard is now blue. If I pull up Cydia, the keyboard is brown. And this one is called 
color board. So it's pretty new, I really like it. So again, just quality of life tweaks. As you guys can probably tell, most of these don't modify the system look too crazy much, but they add a lot of functionality to your iPhone. Now this one called Mark Favorites lets you mark multiple photos as your favorite at the exact same time in one fell swoop. So again, if I just select multiple photos, I can just favorite them all right there. IG OLED is another free dark mode tweak. This one is entirely for Instagram, however, which it looks really sweet and did dark mode on this app just perfectly. Of course, I had to mention iCleaner Pro, just an awesome one to clean up your iOS file system and remove unnecessary files. So another new tweak that I thought I would share in this video is called Surrey Invisible. And this one lets you toggle Surrey with the side button or by saying the hey, Surrey command, but nothing will actually be displayed on the screen and there won't be any sounds associated with toggling Surrey. So I'll show you guys exactly what I'm talking about just by pressing the side button or holding it down right here. So here we go. Open music. As you guys can see, Surrey was activated, but there really wasn't any way to tell that it was activated, which is kind of an interesting one. Um, I thought I would share with you guys in this video. It's a pretty new tweak and uh, I kind of like it. It's less intrusive. You can't really tell that Surrey is there at all and it removes the full screen interface of Surrey as well. Again, a great one for iPhone 10, 10s, 10s Max or 10R users is called Fast Unlock X. Basically, you look at your phone and it will automatically take you to the home screen once your face is recognized. Also, I love getting rid of that home bar with hide bar X, and I love having bar emoji right there on my keyboard as well. It actually makes use of that space otherwise unused by Apple. Now another cool one for widgets is called Widget Extend. It basically always expands the widget panes right here. You can't show less anymore. It just makes them full screen and I think it looks really sweet. Again, that one's called Widget Extend. All right, well I still like this tweet called Pencil Charging Indicator. So when I plug my phone into power, it shows a little indicator just like that, just like the Apple Pencil on the new iPad Pros. So again, another really cool one on the lock screen and notification center is called Noodle. Now, when music is playing or when your phone is actually plugged in and charging, your display on the lock screen now will no longer shut off. And again, you can toggle it for just music playing or for just charging, but I currently have both enabled. Anyway, guys, let's end this video with one super useful tweak that I think you guys are going to really love. Again, it's brand new and this this one is called Smart Light. So this one allows you to turn your flashlight on by pressing the volume down button and the side button. So with both of these buttons right here, now you can toggle on your flashlight just like that and toggle it off. I think that's a really quick and interesting way to actually toggle the flashlight. And uh, it doesn't really interfere with any of the other toggles. It still lets you pull up the respring options right there, but pressing both at the same time simultaneously lets you toggle on your flashlight. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. This was a look at 50 tweaks that are entirely free that you can install on the iOS 12 to 12.1.2 jailbreak. I tried to make this video as interesting as possible. It took a long time to compile this list of 50 free tweaks that I actually thought were interesting and worthwhile to install. Anyway, guys, with that being said, if you enjoyed today's video, definitely like, comment, and subscribe to stay updated with the latest Apple and jailbreaking news. Again, thank you so much for watching this video, but until next time, this is Tony signing out.